Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Saturday, the 15th of February, 2020. Today on the Seeds of Destiny, we're looking at this topic, Secrets of God's Power. The Bible tells us, it says, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. That is Acts 10, 38. Our thought for today, faith is a switch of power. The power of God is the major tool for the preservation of lives and destinies of God's people. It is by God's power that appointments with death is cancelled. So the matter of being a carrier of God's power in our generation is crucial to every child of God. Now what is the secret of God's power? The first is the presence of God, Acts 10:38. If you bring a nine inch nail close to a magnet, the magnet will magnetize it. And then when that nine inch nail remains on the magnet for a while, and you remove it and take it close to a needle, the nail will magnetize the needle. Now what happened to the nail? By being in close proximity with the magnetic field of the magnet, it acquired magnetic capacities and properties and became magnetic in itself. Similarly, when you get close to God and remain close to Him, you acquire His nature. And a major component of His nature is insurmountable power. When you step out and the, the devils and the witches and the wizards see you, they will think they're actually seeing God. So the presence of God is very critical for power. The second important thing to take note of is the knowledge of God. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. The knowledge of God is the doorway to power. The more you know God, the more you acquire power. The third is the fullness of the Spirit. Acts 1.8 says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Now the secret of power is the Holy Spirit. And the fourth is the vibrancy of faith. Faith that is alive activates power. We are kept by power through faith. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 5. Faith is a switch of power. The power of God flows in the direction of faith. Audacious faith quenches the fairy darts of the wicked. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16. And so beloved, I see you operating in an unusual dimension of power as you act on the keys that have been outlined above. Remember this, that faith is a switch of power. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment? Number one increase your faith level by spending time on God's Word. Trust God to reveal the light in His Word to you. And number two, constantly live in an atmosphere that is saturated with God's presence through live or through recorded worships. And number three, pray in the Spirit abundantly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, my life is in your hands and I am surrounded by your power. I shall fulfill my days and complete my life's assignments on earth. O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I believe that the Lord has heard and answered that prayer in Jesus' name. But before we close, I'd like to pray for somebody who wants to be born again. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life? Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Today, I come to you. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please forgive me all my sins. Make me your child. Help me to live a life that pleases you. In Jesus' name we pray.
is a place of revival. It is a place.